Hello, this is Keegan, and I'm here today to demonstrate how to interface with Dropbox on your computer and iPad. And the reason you would want to do this is so you can quickly transfer files between your desktop or laptop computer to your mobile device, such as your iPad. So let's go ahead and get started. Now where I actually want to start off is I want to start off on Dropbox's website. For those of you that don't already have an account, uh, the, the account has a, there's a free version of the account, which is the one I'm using and what I will suggest for this video. And if you navigate to dropbox.com, you'll be prompted to sign up for an account and go through all that process. The other thing you can do though is you can download Dropbox, which installs it onto your computer. And this is, you can do this for both Windows and Mac. So I, I would suggest you do it. It makes for a very easy workflow. So what is that workflow? Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to close out of this. So Dropbox is here. I'm going to show on both the Windows and Mac platforms now. So Dropbox is here in both of my task bars for both systems. And I'm actually going to click on it. And then I'm going to go to my folder to show it to you real quick. So what you'll notice about this is on both sides I have uh, check, green check marks that signify that my uh, files are synced between these two computers. So everything in the folder on my Mac and on my Windows are synced up. If I delete one of those folders on one of the computers, they will erase on the other one. So that's, that's kind of how it works. Um, now let me actually demonstrate that. So I have two example presentations. It's the same presentation, they just have different names. One's a Windows and one's a Mac. So what I'm going to do is at the same time I'm just going to drag these into the Dropbox folder and I'm going to allow them to upload and I'm getting alerts now that the syncing has occurred. And what you'll notice is on both sides I now have two presentations. I have the Mac and the Windows um, document, the Mac and Windows presentation, PowerPoint file. Okay, so that's fine and dandy. You now have that in your Dropbox account, in your allotted storage, your files. So what does that now look like on the iPad side? So on the iPad side, what you want to do is you also want to install Dropbox. So I'm going to go into the App Store. I already have it installed, but I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to just search for Dropbox up here in this pane. I've already done it, so it came up. And it's this first app right here. So I'm going to click on it, and then I, you would say install is what you would want to do. It would say free, and then you could install it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit open because I already have it. And what you should notice is... Today, I have files that I just uploaded into those computers, like right now, this, this second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on my Windows one. They're the same presentation, so they should just load the same. It's only two pages. And on the iPad, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this share button right here. And on it, I'm going to say open in. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to tap on the open in and you'll be prompted to open this presentation that's in your Dropbox onto apps on your iPad. So for instance, Keynote is the one I'm going to use, which is just this first one here, which is uh, will open and recognize and play PowerPoint files. So I'm going to open Keynote. And now what's going to happen is that presentation is going to import into this app and then I will be able to use it. <clears throat> so waiting on that a second as it's importing and converting to a keynote file and then there is the presentation. So it looks like my fonts are different. Um, I was between my windows and um, and keynote. So PowerPoint and keynote looks like the fonts were different but I'm going to open this up and see how it looks now that I've transferred it over. Now this will work for all types of files. I'm just showing with a presentation. So there's there's that PowerPoint. So now it's in a Keynote file and if I wanted to, I could actually play it um, like a presentation if I was on a research or at class or wherever. Okay. So you can do this with 
anything. You can do this with PDF documents if you want to write on PDFs. You can do this with Word documents on your Windows or Mac computer. Um, any, any file type that you can open with an app on the iPad, you, you can easily put into your Dropbox and then you can open it with your Dropbox app, which is that one right there, on your iPad in order to access any of those files you need. So, and you can upload files the other way uh, to get from the iPad to the computer. So real quick, I'll show that. Um, so I'm going to jump into Keynote real quick. And what I'll do is I'm going to change this name. So we're going to call this, this will be the iPad presentation is what this will be. Okay. So I'll have three files that are all the same. They just have different names. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the share button again. And I'm going to say from the iPad, I'm going to say open in another app. So tap the presentation I would like to open. I'm going to say that example one. Um, I'm going to, I'll put it back into PowerPoint is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and then now I'm just going to tap on the choose app. And then one of these suggestions should be Dropbox. So now I'm going to just tap on Dropbox. And then what that's going to do is that's going to, um, I'll select my save location. I'll just choose the regular folder and I'll hit save. And that's going to upload that file. And then what you'll notice is then back on the computer side, so if I jump back over here on the Mac, it'd be the same on the Windows machine. I now have a, a third file that is from the iPad. So that's how you would get your files to your iPad to work with and then off of your iPad back onto your computer at any point in time. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation or this demonstration. Um, leave a like or comment. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for any other video content. Thank you very much.